welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space in my backyard. So it is August and the garden is looking a little crazy. <laughs> it's been hot. Uh, we've had temperatures in the high 90s for weeks on end at this point um, and my tomatoes are starting to look a little bit messy. There are other things in the garden that are starting to die and it's time to start making decisions on whether we're pulling it, keeping it, or trying to save it. Um, and so today I'm going to focus a lot on my tomatoes because they are giving out a second crop of tomatoes but if I don't do something to them, the plants are going to die and um, I am not gonna get my second crop of tomatoes. So I'm gonna restake, I'm gonna remove old leaves. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to get these plants looking a little bit better. I also ordered some balanced fertilizer. It is called Agro Thrive and I used it earlier this year, but I only used it once but I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, and so just for the end of the year to get my last bit of crops, I'm going to get these tomatoes together, fertilize them with a balanced fertilizer, and then we're gonna see what happens. We had a storm last night and this whole plant broke. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. If it was earlier in the year, I would pull some pieces of it and try to reroot it, but we're late in the year and I don't see the point. Um, I believe this was a Dr. Weiches. It wasn't really producing much anyway, so I'm not that upset about it. At Keep some point, I stopped staking my tomatoes, and this was, this was the result of it. So that is how I'm going to do all of the plants that are out here. I'm gonna cut off the old leaves, make sure I stake them up really good, um, and then I'm gonna move on to something else. The next thing I'm gonna look at is my uh, cucumber plants, which they still look decent, but they do have a little bit of uh, disease on them. And so I'm not gonna cut the ones that look like this so much. I'm gonna cut the ones that look way, that look way more diseased like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and prune my cucumber plants as well. Um, I'm also gonna prune any of the sunflowers that are looking like this. I'm gonna leave some of them, of course, because the pretty little birds like them. Uh, and we get to see a lot of hummingbirds and yellow finches, American yellow finch or gold finch, I think is what it's called. Uh, so we're gonna leave those, but we are gonna go ahead and prune the rough looking cucumbers. <laughs> hey, so it is the next day and um, my daughter came out yesterday and she kind of hijacked my video. She hijacked my quiet time in the garden, all of that. Uh, she hijacked my day. <laughs> um, and so I am back today and I'm gonna show you what I did while I talked to her and we just vibed in the garden, which I absolutely enjoy. So when I say she hijacked my day, I'm just being silly. Um, but I did a lot yesterday. And the thing that I am most excited about and not garden related, but kind of garden related is if you have noticed when I come up here on the porch, it's normally like super messy. I clean that, kind of clean that, but it's definitely more straightened up. I am enjoying some cucumber and basil water all from my garden. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and show you all what I did yesterday um, to get ready for fall, to uh, just kind of clean up the garden a little bit. My son is gonna be so upset when he comes outside to take the trash down. Our trash day is tomorrow and he's gonna be highly upset. <laughs> so we started off here yesterday and it is a little bright out here. I was cleaning the porch and so uh, the video got pushed back a little bit, but here are our tomatoes. You can tell it's getting to the end of the season um, because they're starting to look like trees. No real leaves at the bottom. Um, and then you get to the top and there are a little bit of leaves. Also, what I'm doing is if there was a sucker that was growing, I'm just letting it grow at this point. Maybe I can get a little more production out of the little suckers that's coming in. The next thing I did was I started laying cardboard. And so this is where all of the strawberry runners were. Um, I pulled the runners and then I started laying cardboard. 
I need some more cardboard because I really want to cover all of the ground again with cardboard for the next season. Look at the pretty butterfly. Flew away. <laughs> Actually, it didn't. It just moved. How pretty. Looking like it's at the end of its life. Its wings are looking pretty rough, but it's very pretty. They're like butterflies. The other thing is I chopped most of the sunflowers. Like I said, I wanted to keep them uh, for the, the pollinators, but most of them were pretty bad off. So I kept the ones over there for the birds and the pollinators. And I have seen quite a few birds. Uh, the rest of the sunflowers are absolutely gone. I cut them all down, left the stalk because I'd like that to dry out and I can use it for uh, staking later. So I am very excited about these squash. We all know I said I don't do well with squash because I have squash vine borers pretty bad around here. Um, and I've had so many squash bugs this year. I just kind of squished them, but they've been everywhere on all plants, not just squash. Um, and so I'm very excited about those squash. I just planted those a few weeks ago um, and they are looking really good. I'm hoping to get some production out of them. I did fertilize everything with Agro Thrive last night. Um, and I'm probably going to water later on tonight when it cools down a little bit. Um, nothing looked like it needed to be watered. I felt the soil, it didn't feel really bad. So I didn't water it. The tomatoes are still doing really good. Um, still producing new tomatoes. Nothing is getting eaten by anything. So I'm pretty excited. I do need to go back and pull these nasturtiums. I missed them yesterday when I was, uh, pulling things <laughs> thing I need to do is chop that peach tree again both peach trees honestly need to be chopped again uh, because they grow pretty quickly even after you cut them um, but I don't want them to get really big so I am going to train them on how big they will be <laughs> I had to cut the nasturtium back the nasturtium was huge it was falling over onto the peppers which by the way we got another pepper coming two more peppers that are ripening. Um, so I cut that back. It will grow new shoots and then I will probably be cutting it back again before fall is over. <laughs> Every time I mention uh, my asparagus somewhere, someone may say like, you can cut that back a little bit um, and, and, the, and the crown will be fine. So I did cut the asparagus back, giving it a little bit of space in the middle. I don't know if you can see where maybe the sun can get in a little bit um, because they were huge falling over on the potatoes. And so now the potatoes get a good amount of sun. That's kind of one of the reasons why I also went ahead and pulled the sunflowers that, you know, they were looking bad, but they also were shading things like my uh, cantaloupe and things like that and my peppers. So I went ahead and, sh and pulled them so that uh, this is my last month really of like summer gardening. So just to give them one last push to help them out. I wanna show you all, I went ahead and planted carrots in a bag and they are starting to come up. They are under a trellis that gets a little bit of shade throughout the day. So I'm pretty excited about that. Just germination is amazing for me. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little off where we started, um, but my kids are very important to me and spending time very important to me. So if there is a time that my 12 year old walks up and says, hey, I'm just gonna talk to my mom. You know what I'm doing? I'm talking to my 12 year old. So <laughs> um, I will see you all Wednesday for a full garden tour. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out some of my other videos um, and visit me over on Instagram at Miss MS Asia Spratly, where I post about the things going on in the garden pretty much every day. Have a wonderful week. Bye.